Okay, having uh, come up with, well, described, um, symmetric encryption, and we're going to be discussing symmetric encryption for a while here, um, what can we do with it? Uh, and it, it turns out, and we'll, you know, we'll get into this in more detail when we get into uh, asymmetric encryption and, and what we can do with asymmetric encryption, but in terms of symmetric encryption, this is um, useful for dealing with confidentiality primarily. This is, uh, you know, going back to our uh, CIA triad, the, the three pillars of security. You know, this was the original one that every, and, and the one that everybody talks about, the one that everybody um, fixates on. And uh, so, you know, unfortunately, uh, it's not the entirety. And um, it, there, there are certain things that we can do with symmetric encryption, which help with, um, uh, to a certain extent, with uh, integrity, um, with availability. But in um, li more limited ways. Uh, again, we'll, we'll deal with um, how far we can go, what the restrictions are and limitations, uh, more when we get into asymmetric encryption and how far it can go. But um, primarily when we're talking about symmetric encryption, we're talking about confidentiality. We're talking about keeping information secret, com protecting information which may fall into the wrong hands, um, and making sure that it's, uh, you know, if it, even if it does, if, you, if people can look at the file, look at the message, uh, that they can't understand it. They can't obtain information from it, which allows them uh, to find out information they shouldn't have about you. Now, the... Uh, you know, that if we have information... Uh, at rest, we talk about information at, in transit and information at rest. Um, this, you know, there is still a room for symmetric encryption in this. For example, uh, a few years ago, a particular company that uh, does both storage of files and um, uh, destruction of uh, information. Um, it, it, was uh, transporting some tapes for somebody and uh, those tapes went missing. I can't remember exact details or whether they even figured out what the exact details were in terms of why and how the tapes went missing, but they went missing. And people didn't know, you know, had they been stolen, uh, what was happening, and uh, uh, this was, uh, you know, terrible on the part of this company that had contracted and was supposedly helping with us with our security, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And for those of us in the security field, our immediate response to these cries of horror and, and blaming of the uh, company was, well, you know, if the enterprise that let the contract in the first place felt that this information was important, why didn't they encrypt the tapes? You know, encrypt your backup tapes. So that if they get stolen, if they get mislaid, if they, you know, whatever, um, that uh, nobody can do anything with them. You know, they, uh, there is no value uh, because the material is encrypted. Nobody can read it. Now, of course, we uh, uh, go further than this with um, our... Uh, abilities. Uh, I mean, you know, we use it primarily in terms of communication over insecure channels. Um, we talked about that, you know, if you've got a secure channel, uh, you don't need the encryption, uh, but you still have to transmit the keys, etc. We'll, we'll go into that. But uh, the, um, you know, encrypted email, encrypted files in transit, login information, uh, stuff like that. Um, now, 
we do have the ability to do some authentication. Uh, and, I mean, for years we were using symmetric encryption to support authentication in, in various ways. Um, the, uh, the ability to, um, you know, use uh, a stronger form of encryption to uh, provide the key for a more useful uh, form of communication, um, different, different ways that we can do this. Um, but we, um, in terms of authentication, we primarily, for symmetric encryption, rely on the hash value. Now, hashing, hash value, is taking an entire file and reducing it to, generally speaking, a fixed size, a, a fixed representation, 128 bits, 160 bits, you know, some standard size, uh, which uh, cannot be used to recover the original file, because, for example, you know, um, you've got files that can be of any size, and so you've got an infinite number of files. Whereas, uh, although, you know, 160-bit hash value is a very large number, it's still finite. And, and so um, there are going to be different, you know, e even if you can find something that matches that hash value, you can never be sure that it actually does uh, represent the original information exactly. Um, that uh, is not, uh, you know, that's not possible when you have this, you know, infinity to non-infinity comparison that mathematically it just, you know, can't be done. So, um, we have then uh, a value that we can use to tag a file and, and say, you know, this was the original file, this is the calculation that was done on, we do this calculation again, on that file, and we don't get that number, then something has has happened. Um, we use hash values for things like storing passwords. Uh, we don't actually store the passwords; we just store the hash. Um, then, when we, you know, when somebody submits a password, they type in their password. We hash the password again. If it matches the hashed value, then yes, that person knows the password. Very likely. Um, so, uh, you know, those those types of things can be done uh, with symmetric encryption, but there are limitations. Um, we'll get into that in more detail. Uh, now, um, different uh, symmetric encryptions. That I'm many, many, many forms of uh, symmetric encryption. Um, but we're going to look at one in particular, the Data Encryption Standard, or DES. Uh, uh, an international one was IDEA, um, AES, the Advanced Encryption Standard. Uh, again, all of these, you know, uh, variations on FISTA ciphers. Um, we're going to look at DES in a lot of detail, not because it's important anymore, but because it still represents... Uh, the ways we can use it, um, the types of structures that go on inside it, um, and uh, a lot of the concepts that are applicable to all forms of symmetric encryption.